Okay, we're going to have to go with slides that are over there. <laughs> That's going to make this interesting, but as I'm two minutes in already, let's get started. Um, my name is Brett Sheffield from the uh, LibreCast project, uh, which is now part of the uh, NGI Zero uh, program for uh, decentralizing the internet, building a new, uh, better internet. Uh, if you're interested in that and how you can perhaps get some funding for your project, then uh, come and see me afterwards. And uh, there's also a, an NGI Zero boff this afternoon where there'll be lots of people from NGI Zero projects and the NLNet Foundation guys who can, you can talk to them about getting funding. Uh, I think given this is the decentralized dev room, that'll be quite applicable. So, um, just before we begin, uh, can I borrow you for a sec? I just want to give you a choice. Um, we could do this talk in a, a unicast way, or we can do it in a multicast way. Uh, so just to give you an idea of what that might be like, in a unicast world, I, I'd need to, to start uh, with a handshake. And we'll need to man maintain that TCP handshake throughout the talk. <laughs> and then if you could all just form a line uh, behind <laughs> him here, I can deliver the talk to you one at a time. Now, of course, I'm being ridiculous. We're much cleverer than that in unicast, aren't we? Um, I could do two of you at once. Uh, or maybe you could attach to my legs. Uh, but that's probably about my limit. And obviously, the more connections I'm maintaining, I'm having to repeat the same information, the load on me as the speaker is going up and up. Well, that's, that's unicast, thank you. Or, and I realize this might be the first time for some of you, we could do this in a multicast way. Uh, essentially, by coming to this room, you have performed a join on my multicast group. Thank you. Uh, that's going to save a lot of time. So uh, who's for unicast? <laughs> Always one or two. And multicast? OK, well, I didn't need 10 minutes. I've already convinced you all that multicast is better than unicast. Fantastic. I haven't got off my first slide yet. So uh, that was a LibreCast logo. Uh, let me tell you about the project. Um, basically, uh, I'm aiming to get multicast working across the internet, decentralize the internet with multicast. And the way I'm doing that is by putting it in the hands of you guys, developers. We already have a uh, LibreCast uh, multicast library, so you can build your applications with that. Just hash include LibreCast.h, other languages coming soon, but at the moment it's C. Uh, we'll be building a messaging library on top of that, uh, a la 0MQ, um, very similar. We're also building transitional technology on top of that, which is essentially tunneling. This is not new stuff that I'm doing here. This is 30-year-old technology uh, that I'm bringing you today. If you remember the M-Bone or, given we're in Brussels, Castgate, perhaps, uh, this has been done before. It's just not been done with IPv6, and it's not been done well. Uh, we're building an, an improved routing protocol to break the dependence of multicast on unicast, and I'm building some multicast-enabled applications and trying to work with FOSS projects to uh, enable multicast everywhere. And also ensure that new standards such as WebRTC and QUIC, which are based on UDP, do not exclude multicast. So uh, you can't really see that, but basically if it, you've used 0MQ before, the API is very familiar. Uh, download my slides. I'll read that to you. In 2001, RFC 3170 was written. It says, IP multicast will play a prominent role on the internet in the coming years. It is a requirement, not an option, if the internet is going to scale. Multicast allows application developers to add more functionality without significantly impacting the network. Now, that was 2001. Um, what year is it? So, yeah, we're not really using multicast. Most people have uh, heard of it, but there are a lot of misconceptions. It's largely ignored. Multicast is more efficient than unicast. It's more scalable than unicast. It has important privacy advantages over unicast. No destination address for a start. Uh, it's the missing piece in the decentralization puzzle, which is important for this dev room. And it can also help make this fellow, which is a polar bear, uh, quite a bit happier as well, because multicast is far more efficient. We can build less data centers, and that's important. So what is multicast? We'll start with a definition. Um, you've probably heard that unicast is one-to-one, is -one, yeah? And uh, broadcast is one-to-all nodes. Multicast is one-to-many, yeah? 
You've all heard that? Well, that's wrong. Um, no form of IP multicast in use today works like that. It's not one to many, it's one to a group. In the case of unicast, you set the destination. In the case of multicast, you do not. You, you send to a group. It's pub-sub. So unicast and broadcast are fundamentally different. And there's no point in me doing the next bit because you can't see it. But basically, unicast and broadcast are push, and multicast is pull. You can't spam with multicast. I'll skip over that. Um, many m misconceptions are around uh, multicast, that it's only good for streaming, it's no use for video on demand, it's unreliable, it's insecure, it can't work on the internet, and that's all wrong. Multicast is essentially about group communication. And the funny thing is, all communication is group communication. It, even one-to-one -one is just a very small group. Uh, so, uh, the problem with unicast is it leads to massive centralization. Thank you, slides. Um, multicast leaves open the possibility of decentralized designs by default. Multicast is decentralized by default. And that's an OSI uh, layer diagram, which you're all familiar with. There are many of you here working on decentralized solutions, but you're all working at layer seven, the application layer. We can decentralize at the network layer, layer three. That's far more efficient and saves you a lot of coding. Here's a real world example, which is going to be difficult to show you. But if you can imagine uh, that uh, I have a forking web server and that that is plugged into a, uh, uh, a local bridge, um, then uh, yeah, this is, I'm running out of time and I don't have a slide to back me up. So essentially, um, that's impossible to show you without that. So if you want to know more about it, and hopefully with slides, come to the IoT dev room uh, a bit later on. I'm talking at 12.10, and I have a longer slot to talk to you about it. Uh, there's also a video from my LCA talk uh, where I had a full hour to tell you what I'm trying to tell you with no slides in 10 minutes. So um, come and find me in the, um, the NGI Zero uh, boff room this afternoon. Fabulous. <laughs>